We go in depth tonight with one of Cleveland's best rock and roll musicians. You'll know him when you hear him. Here's Channel 3 News reporter Vic Gideon. Don Dixon's produced acts like REM. Marshall Crenshaw. And the Smithereens. Played with five-time Grammy winner Mary Chapin Carpenter. I'm on love, so come on over, baby, right now, right now. Written songs for Counting Crows. Please welcome Marty Jones. And his wife, Uniontown native Marty Jones. And he's put out plenty of his own music, including his MTV hit, Praying Mantis. I saw a girl, she reminded me of you. And this celebrated musical couple, Don Dixon and his wife Marty Jones, live in Canton. It was music, specifically Marty's band, that brought Don to Northeast Ohio and the couple together in the mid-80s. I was called to produce this band called Color Me Gone, a friend of mine from a and Records. And um, so I came up to see him in Akron. When we sort of, for better or worse, um, fell in love and got married, uh, it seemed to make sense for us to, to have a home base near where her family was. It made more sense to be close to Marty's parents and sisters when they decided to start a family, because music isn't the only thing to come from this collaboration. There's their seven-year-old daughter, Shane. The three Dixons live in a house now that's crammed with memorabilia. The Dixons live about 60 miles from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum, where you can hear Don's influence on popular music at the 500 Songs That Shape Rock and Roll exhibit. And apparently Don doesn't live much farther than that to get to where he needs to go to help shape rock and roll today. So I can drive to New York in seven or eight hours so to work there. I can drive to D.C. in six or seven hours, drive to Chicago in six or seven hours, and drive to Toronto in six or seven hours. And these are all the places that I prefer to work. We could probably live in New York or, or Los Angeles and be more active than we are. They still remain active enough in careers that have taken them from sitting on the set of David Letterman to sitting at home in Canton. Vic Gideon, Channel 3 News. Wow, talented. Yeah, a lot of good songs there.